You heard of Santa Claus, Rudolph, Herbie the Dentist? I feel like Christmas, I feel like deer hunting. I think behind this seemingly innocent facade lies another innocent facade. Hi, I'm Dick O'Day, who are you? Rick Goldschmidt. Hi, Rick. Hi, I'm the uh, official historian biographer for Rankin Bass Productions. I'm Arthur Rankin. My partner, Jules Bass. Rankin Bass, who are, who are, what are they? Arthur Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass produced all the great holiday TV specials that we all grew up with, like Rudolph and Frosty, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Oh, great. <laughs> so, okay, well, let's go see this stuff. We're going down to the Rankin Bass Museum. All right, so now where do you keep all this stuff? I keep it in my office that uh, I've kind of grown out of because oh, okay. there's not enough room to get in the office. Could we try to sneak into the office? Well, we can get in the it? doorway of it. Oh, in the doorway. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when did you actually start collecting? Well, I collect a lot of different things. I have a lot of different interests in mostly stuff from the 50s and 60s. So like, what was your first piece? Do you remember like the first Rankin Bass thing you got and you came home and and you showed it to Rudolph and you all <laughs> sat around and looked at it and held it and kind of said, wow, this is really we're ranking I think it was um, a Mad Monster Party comic book. And this was a movie that came out in the theaters? Yeah. Or? This is a card set I produced for Kmart. Was uh, that Phyllis Diller? Yeah, who's become a good friend of mine. She says that her kids didn't know she was a star until she made this movie. You wanted to write a book about them, correct? Right, because you couldn't really find anything about them, even in animation books. Right, so they did Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That was their first big hit. After Rudolph, um, they did a series of what we would call classic TV specials now. The Little Drummer Boy, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. That's the Fred Astaire one. The Year Without a Santa Claus. Shirley Booth. Heat Miser and Snow Miser. Oh, what's the one with Ethel Merman? I love that one. That's Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. Chicken today and feathers tomorrow. I understand you got a little something that just for our viewers you're going to show us. Right, uh, an original 1964 GE commercial um, that aired during the original broadcast. It was like my holy grail. Wrap the mixer and the iron, wrap the skillet and the clock. Settle back and be a good cheer. What does your family think about this? <laughs> There's always <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> silver and gold. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. <laughs> so what do you think, dear? What do you think? She's not, she's not talking. She gets inundated with a lot of this stuff, so, you know, and the kids also, so I don't try to push it on anybody. Okay, so she hates it, right? It, it, it exists. <laughs> Basically, she hates it. <laughs> no, she... And she sees one more little dancing dwarf <laughs> running through the house. <laughs> So then what happened to Rankin Bass? They did specials all the way up to uh, the mid-80s. Oh, okay. And now okay. they're still working on specials. And as a matter of fact, I'm writing one of them right now where it involves Andy Williams. Oh, he, oh preview, okay. Actually, Andy Williams popularized the Osmonds, who were featured That's in That's right, that you're absolutely right. In a Rankin Bass um, series. This must be like a dream come true. Well, it's a lot of fun. Okay, Rick, if somebody wants to come to the Island of Misfit Toys, I mean, find out more about Rankin Bass, what should they do? They should email me or check out RankinBass.com. Ho, ho, ho! Coming soon on Wild Chicago, Chester Tosinski's Cosmic Spacecraft, Eating with the Cabbies, a quarter-scale tractor full, luxury suites for your pooch, and Will Becomes Animated.